Hi guys, Glitter here. So today I'm here with another Spyro video. However, this is a one of just a series of videos, so you should probably go check out the other ones before you watch this one. Especially the one that shows you how to use the tools to bring Spyro maps into Unity if you have any interest in that. So last video we actually talked about water, and if you want to know how I'm scrolling this texture, even though this is a single material with a texture atlas. Go check out the last video. This video is also going to be a little bit about water, but it's not going to be about animation. It's going to be about reflections. So you might also wonder how this is possible to do since everything is still just one material and there's still only one texture uploaded. You can see the material in the bottom right. How are we getting these reflections? How are we how are we doing it? Well, it's a new feature I've added to the shader. Hop over to the shader code, which is still incomplete. I'm going to clean it up and upload it because it's going to require a shader variant or the texture scrolling for the water. So the way that we do this is I'm now taking advantage of the alpha channel, which was unused on the Spyro textures, or at least that's how it's exported on the Spyro world viewer. So I encode roughness. Uh, I also have a shader property for a smoothness multiplier, so we set the smoothness to our roughness minus the smoothness multiplier. Actually, that should probably be smoothness. Kind of a misnomer there. We're, the, the alpha channel represents roughness, and 1 minus the alpha channel is going to be smoothness. So let me show you what this looks like. As you can see, we've got the texture here. Um, and you can see there's like a cutout right there, but it's not completely gone. We still have that there, except we now have a blackness there, but it's not exactly black. It's very, very close. It's almost 100% smooth. And that's how we get these reflections here. And not on the grass and stuff like that. Now we have animated water water reflections and we pay a couple draw calls for this because uh, in Unity 5.x in 2017 things are affected by reflection probes that can no longer batch. So the way that I combat this is I've made only these three meshes take in reflection probes information. So they aren't batched with the rest so we've got a few more draw calls. We've got about 25 now. And so, yeah, now I'm using the alpha channel for smoothness. That means you can make other things slightly smooth, like maybe the surface or these gems on the wall or this over here. I thought about using emission or the alpha channel for emission, but I thought it would be so rare and so unlikely to be useful that I opted for smoothness instead because it can come in handy if you want to add some PBR-ish stuff which we have here. Everyone likes water reflections. Now we couldn't distort these without another without another uh, texture upload for like a purlin noise, but this is decent enough. I think this is probably more than someone else has done with a single texture upload, a single material, and uh, what should be a single draw call without post on. Well, it's close. We saw those reflection probes. Just a few draw calls. But that's it for t this video. Maybe not today. I might upload something else. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the animated water and the reflections on the water surface. I'll see you next time.